Our first speaker tonight, he's got, you got to be super loving on this guy. He's the first guy tonight opening up at Ignite Denver 16. He's going to talk about the art of the story. And he's a guy who likes to create things. He's a, he's a graphic designer, a freelance graphic designer. Anybody know a freelance graphic designer? I know. And, uh, and he is also uh, learning to play the ukulele, multi-talented he is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the art of the story. Give it up, please, for Justin Morgan. It all started with one simple question. Grandpa, what's your story? And I remember he looked at me with this huge, huge grin on his face. And he slowly eased in to his navy blue recliner. And he looked across at me and he said, Justin, it all started in 1914 in Worland, Wyoming. And these cool hipster glasses he always wore raised up towards the ceiling as if he was looking at a thousand different stories swirling around him, and he just had to pick one. And then he said, I worked at the Amico gas station for years and years and years, but I knew there had to be something more in life. So I packed up, and I moved to Colorado, and that was the moment I met the most beautiful, incredible woman in the whole world, your grandma. And we fell in love, and then we got married, but we wanted to go on an incredible adventure. So we sold everything we had and bought this huge RV, and we traveled all over the place. We saw mountains that were huge, and hills that were green, and we saw all these beautiful things, and I saw this gorgeous blue ocean, and he told me story after story after story. And a few years went on, and he passed away. But those stories that he told, they lived here, and they lived here. And those stories always play on. That's the beauty of stories. They stick with us. That is powerful. Because stories, you see, they give us a context for our past and also a roadmap for our future. We hang on to stories in our lives, and we hang on to people that are telling stories. And in businesses, a business is telling a story, we are attracted to that. For example, anyone ever heard of a little company called Tom's Shoes? Worn a pair, seen a pair, heard the story? Why is that that we've heard of Tom's Shoes? Because Tom's Shoes is telling us an incredible story. Buy one of these pairs of shoes, and we're going to give a pair of shoes to a kid that desperately needs a pair. And by offering an offer like that, we get invited to be part of a bigger story. And that is the storytelling power in business. Why do we love stories so much? Why is it that when we lay our head down at night, our mind will continue to tell a story after story after story. Well, stories allow two things to happen that every one of us desires. To know and to be known. To know other people and to be known by other people. I love the way that Madeline Langle said it about stories. She says, stories, they make us more alive, more human, more courageous, but most of all, stories, they make us more loving. So what is the art of storytelling? Well, it all begins with one simple question. What's your story? What is your story? And when you have that story, grab onto that story. And then tell your story. Tell your story to your family, to your friends, to your coworkers. Broadcast your story through the streams of social media. But most of all, make sure you tell that story. Why?
Because your story matters. People can argue with a lot of things, but you know what they can't argue with? Your story. <laughs>